and Liam Burt, uh, the bit of quality that he has, but uh, Waterford uh, withstanding everything. Oh. Yes, the equaliser. Again, the head of Paddy Barrett is uh, the target. Still Paddy Barrett. Coil. And the captain. Oh, oh what a finish. Really, really impressive in this first half. Long, long ball. Excellent touch. And what a pass that is. Is the finish there? It is. Yeah, it's two. Cool. They play it short. Bert sends that in. There's a lot of bodies there. And Shel Evan Caffrey. Caffrey sweeping it on this left hand side. That's well taken in there now by Will Jarvis. Gets to the edge area. Shot from Will Jarvis. Oh. Hits the foot of the post. And it's got in. Will the deadlock be broken from the spot by Will Jarvis? Steps up and finds the bottom corner. It's a dangerous ball in and it's flicked into the oh. back of the net. Coyle. Good ball to Boyd. Boyd goes outside. Smith is in the box along with Boyd. Oh, that is quite the goal from Jarvis. Gannon. Burt ahead of him. Gannon sweeps it into Burt, who finds Boyd. Smith is making a break. But they've got a free man. And that's Jarvis, and that's two. Tack up for Shelburne. Infield there now towards Liam Burt, having more of an influence as well in the second half. Burt still going forward, still Burt shoots! Oh, it's a fantastic oh, And here comes Shelburne again, hungry for another goal. Man is down, good yeah, challenge good. that made there by uh, Ainsley to prevent the goal scoring opportunity. But the ball is still in the danger area. This is Liam Burt, the goal scorer. They're only attacking left hand side. Burt is there, squares oh. it. Oh, it's gone in! Two it's a strong challenge in the air again. It's broken back to Mark Coyle and Aaron Markey needs to be careful. Coyle is still going. Little chip and charge there and he's all the way in. He scored! Oh, what a goal! Can charge forward here and try and close down the space. That's really good play from, from uh, JJ Loney. And it's floated towards the edge of the box again. It's Boyd who gets ahead and it's a gun in. It is in! It's the equaliser! City, can he make it five and get challenged back into this game? You know he can. Straight down the middle. The Pats half. Burt down the line. A little bit of trickery here, a shot coming in. Oh, it's gone into the net. Ball to the far post, and it's Boyd. Carfrey with it. It's a good idea as well. It's all about Boyd. Yes. Jarvis. Has Carfrey here? Can he get a shot away with Carfrey? Still with it, Jarvis now. Boyd on the torn, on his right foot. Oh, Boyd! what a goal that is. Coyle and O'Sullivan. Shelburne now come forward through Ledwich on that left side. Now he has a little bit of space as he drives at McLaughlin. The overlap is there, the ball in is gone, and Shelburne scores. Wilson slides it into the channel. Shelburne looking to try and send this one goalwards back into Wilson inside the penalty area. Still going as Wilson as he pulls it back. Caffrey, one touch, two touch. Oh, and Shelburne oh, score! A winner at the death! Jarvis. Yeah. Keeper went the right way. Jarvis finds it. Jarvis sticks him high up into the corner. Swinger comes the header from Boyd. Might fall here for Ledwich. Taking it up now is Jarvis. Boyd, right hand side of the area. Comes back in his left hand side. Oh, oh, Boyd! Yeah. Oh, that's a brilliant. Great nice header. Nice header out to Will Jarvis as well. Against Davies. Will Jarvis as well. Still with it. Will Jarvis still with it. Yes. What the yes. hell? Get and in it's there. John Martin. Back to Radkowski. mistake Grant Thornton and it's Will Jarvis against Sam Sargent and Sam Sargent going strong you know hitting nearly 40 at this stage what a player what a player here comes Shells on the attack now against it's John Martin scored a winner here back in March still Martin goal John Martin and standing over the ball for the corner away on the far side there's only two Shelburne players further back out the field everyone else is inside the penalty area the cross comes in Martin with the header it's in a so first corner of the evening for Shells it's whipped in at the near post so it's a great header oh what a goal yeah, for a lot of money as well, let's say. 
Mark Coyle lays a ball wide to Will Jarvis who could cause real real problems here it's cut back towards Coyle oh, oh it's there Mark Coyle captain Marvel <laughs> and he's hit the back of the net an emphatic finish from the penalty it's crossed in oh and it's bounced in the box and it's in Sam Bowen so look, if he can get turned, he's a shot at goal. He steps in void. He finishes it to the net. It's 1-0 for Shelburne. Here's Harry Wood now for Shelburne. Straight over the top for Evan Caffrey. And he does, he's onside. He's onside. Takes the strike and rolls it in. Shelburne are back on level turn. Yeah, Galway have gone back into that low block. And again, a great one by Q. Great the ball game. is across the shot's yeah. goal! Part in this game. But Damien Duff will be absolutely beside himself as to how Grant, not for the first time, got so much space. Chance here for Ali Cooch over the goalkeeper set. Where's that going? It's an instant equaliser. Laid off there for Harry Wood. Wood and checks back inside. And Wood looking for Ali Cooch. He's on the shoulder of Kyo and he's in again. Here's Goddard makes a save and it's in the back of the net. I don't know, just upset there. Cooch. Fires it at Harry Wood, it brings it under control. Right foot across, it's headed on. It's a poor touch. Breaks to Matty Smith. Matty Smith, Chance lead 1 0. They are the chasing pack. About to converge. Tullock. Now to the penalty area. Oh. Oh. Pats are actually going to show a, a different side of their game now. Up in the air for Boyd, who wins the knockdown. Matty Smith checks, shoots. Oh! oh what other teams are doing their work, Shelburne aren't here, 1-0 down against Waterford, Boyd has done well, he's got it behind, here comes Boyd, Shelburne get level, to go ahead for the first time, Boyd steps up, and he scores, Shelburne have turned it around. Shelburne being urged to shoot, here's a chance, and it's another goal, Burt! Pumped forward, and the clearance completed by Tullock, who sends it as far as Martin, who flicks it inside, and now this one is on for Sean Boyd, early chance for Shells, can he make a count? Yes, he can! Here's an opportunity for Shelburne, Sean Gannon tried to pull that one back, was there a handball in there? Shelburne still have possession inside the area, but Sean Boyd drives it across! With Dean Williams, notice it's just coming down below, here is Sean Boyd, into the wall, deflected, Mark saves it in! Shelburne find the goal! Harry Wood, the jersey's off! Six minutes to go! A massive breakthrough goal, a very late breakthrough goal for Shelburne! And this side that never says die, this side with an outstanding record when striking first, has found the moment! Harry Wood returned in the summer, that's his first goal since he's returned! It could be a goal that puts him into Shelburne folklore. I said the tide was turning, Des. And look at the scenes. Sean Boyd's free kick takes a slight deflection. It hampers Brian Mars' ability to save it properly. It falls to Harry Wood. And he has the simplest task to put it into the back of the net. Interesting to see if he's offside from the free kick. But he makes no mistake and puts it into the corner. Well, if he wasn't scoring it, Sean Gannon was on the scene as well. But Shelburne, you talk about the League of Ireland, you talk about lone players coming in and how impactful they can be. We saw what Will Jarvis did in the first half of the season. He was recalled, Harry Wood was brought back in. Maybe he didn't hit the heights that he did in his half a season here last time around. But he will absolutely be forgiven all of that and more. Damien Duff from seventh to fourth. He wants the final whistle. But there is still a few seconds to go. Adam O'Reilly. Connolly's in there, looking to get his head on this one. Cleared as far as Michael Duffy, it's all over. It is all over. Shelburne, in just the third season since promotion, have landed their Holy Grail. Champions of Ireland heading for next season's Champions League. And doing so under a manager who has led them from the front and unapologetically the signs were there reaching that cup final two years ago beaten by Derry but it crystallised in the manager's mind what was needed 
to go to that next level and two years later they have arrived at the summit with what the manager has said would be his greatest achievement in football for Shamrock Rovers the late surge didn't quite prove to be enough the four in a row champions dethroned in quite a remarkable season that fittingly went right to the final day to the final games to the final minute Obviously for this group of players and staff it is massive but one cannot fail to think of the likes of Joe Casey, Niall Fitzmaurice, Tosh, Johnny Watson and those supporters from 2007 that went through so much. The Reds have been there at rock bottom. I'm sure that tastes so much sweeter for those close staff and those players. But what an achievement for this group from the doldrums to come and stay at this level for the whole season from being top since March to hold on right to the very end they fully deserve this league title hats off to them from start to finish that brilliant start to the season that mid-season surge May into June and when the questions were being asked and serious questions were being asked a side that was struggling to find a win of any description three wins in a row to finish the season means they are deserving champions Shelburne back on top for the first time since 2006 and this party will kick off in foil side will carry on in Dublin and will go on and on for Derry City you have to say such a tough end to the season they played their part tonight and credit to Rory Higgins and his staff and his players for making Shelburne fight all the way for this we already maybe look forward to next season when Shells will set out to defend that title Rovers will be itching to get back on top Derry will go again trying to bridge that gap back to 97 all eyes on Pats as well what an end to the season for them under Stephen Kenny and Cork City will be back in the Premier Division but that's for another time tonight is Shelburne's night 2024 champions what a night for Damien Duff and for Shelburne yeah, great scenes here at the Ryan McBride Brandywell as Shelburne, Shelburne celebrate their first title in 18 years 2006 the last time they lifted the Premier Division trophy and you have to say what a remarkable job Damien Duff has done with his charges at Shelburne this season. In fact, over the three seasons he's been there, he's made quite an impact not only on Shelburne Football Club but on the league and I was saying earlier on, if it's good enough for Duff, it should be good enough for many football fans here in Ireland. That's the significant impact he has had. Uh, Gareth. a cat in a hot tin roof on every sideline up and down the country all season and now the Shells fans of 300 making the noise of 3,000 as the trophy is about to be presented we've got to remember the thousand supporters that are in Tolka Park this evening as well looking on at this fantastic success I'm sure they'd love to be here themselves but I'm sure they're celebrating there so here we go, Mark Coyle has his hands on it. Shelburne from the depths to the dizzying heights. League of Ireland champions 2024.